Greetings, everyone. My name is Rick Mannon, and I'm an inductee into the Brantford Area Sports Hall of Recognition. And I'm honored today to have uh, another inductee into the Brantford Area Sports Hall of Recognition, Liz Poliak, for the sport. And I'm, this is going to probably age me, but I used to call it track and field. <laughs> now, of course, it's called athletics, right? Welcome, Liz. Thank you so much, Rick. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to have you here. I've got six questions for you. And uh, the first one is, what drew you into the sport? Um, so let's go back to the late 70s at Centennial Public School. A wonderful gentleman by the name of Ken Simmons said to the entire school, track and field day is no longer going to be a day, a free day. So you must choose one event. And of course, I went home um, to my mom and dad and I said, this guy's going to make me do something I really don't want to do. So because I was a little bit incensed and upset with Mr. Simmons, I saw this, didn't want to run, didn't want to jump. I saw this ball, this shot put, this cannonball. I picked it up, I gave it a heave, broke the school record, went home with my little red ribbon, <laughs> and my mom said, it's all about participation, you know, you must participate. <laughs> I participated and I won and it just carried on from there. Wow, that's just quite a story. <laughs> I love Mr. Simmons. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that'll probably come up in, a, in another question I have for you, but uh, back to the next one. Do you have any mentors that have been an impact on your life, your career, your sport? Um, so I'm going to go back to Centennial School. I'm going to definitely have to name Jenny Bailey, who was a wonderful educator at Centennial and also a wonderful, um, very passionate coach. Um, and again, I have to thank Mr. Simmons for actually making me do something. That man is gold in my heart and in <laughs> my head. Um, moving along to high school, um, Mr. Riley, um, Miss Benner, I had some great coaches there, people who motivated me to go a little bit further. Um, my father, my, my parents, of course, um, drove me to every track meet before I could drive myself, but mm -hmm. then he still insisted on driving me. That was my dad, God mm -hmm. bless him. He's still alive. Uh, we lost mom in 15, but uh, she was always the one that was praying upstairs when I was squatting downstairs that I wouldn't kill myself <laughs> under the power rack. So yeah. I had the emotional support from mom and I had that get the results from dad. Mm -hmm. And of course, eventually it was my um, national coach, Mr. Ivan Pintaric, training out of Scarborough, Ontario, mm -hmm. who uh, put me on the map. Yeah. All well-known names. Um, what are some of the highlights of your career? For me, I'm going to say the first highlight, Rick, would be um, in high school when I won four golds in both events and busted all the records mm -hmm. up. I don't think any of those records are left because Canadian <laughs> women's throws now are becoming so powerful mm -hmm. and we're just excelling. Um, in 1980, being named Sportswoman of the Year in Brantford. Um, and I must also interject here, too, that I really thank the Brantford Track and Field Club in the day. Um, uh, some wonderful people there who encouraged me to move forward. They were very supportive um, emotionally and financially at mm -hmm. that time. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Terrific. Um, How is your sport impacted your life? I'm going to say, Rick, for me, um, sport has created a model of discipline mm -hmm. for my life. Um, I think we all get to a point where we hang up our throwing shoes, we put away our shot puts, we put away our hockey sticks, and if you have been blessed enough and smart enough to have a career, um, the discipline of sport has completely overflowed into my personal life and everything I do every day, still in my work in physiotherapy. Um, mm -hmm. The days I don't want to get up and train and do physical fitness myself, I say, Liz, draw upon that discipline. Mm -hmm. Get out there, do your walking, do your strength training, do your mm -hmm. stability training. So it's, it's, it's been a huge uh, discipline thing for me, Rick. Yeah, that's a common theme with a lot of athletes, is the discipline portion of it. What does it mean to you to be inducted into the Brantford Area Sports Hall of Recognition? Well, number one, um, I'm very grateful and, and thankful for the people that thought I was worthy enough to be in there with what I did in, in my uh, 15, 17 year career in, uh, in throwing. Um, I'm also included with a lot of other great athletes like yourself, and I'm, I'm extremely happy that Brantford has started to recognize that it wasn't just yourself, myself, Wayne Gretzky and Gary Summerhays that got this ball rolling in terms of and them acknowledging our accomplishments. So I'm extremely thankful also too for the city of Brantford for 
for elevating us up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also must mention um, Arnold Anderson, Ted Bear, and Ed O'Leary, who followed me everywhere I went in the world. Mm -hmm. And always managed to find us, Rick. Don't you I find know, that? I know. They found us no matter where we were. Mm -hmm. So God bless all of them because they are also not with us anymore. I and know. I miss them all. Yes, yes, for sure. Uh, big impacts on our lives, right? Absolutely. Um, if there was an aspiring athlete, young athlete, would you have a message or specific advice to give them? My small message is um, don't always look at, you know, we don't always have the DNA of Wayne Gretzky, Sid Crosby, Rick Mannon, whatever. Um, don't always look, like, aspire to be the best that you can be, but also look at perhaps um, achieving some sort of educational component, get a scholarship, um, and have something to fall back on when your athletic days, when your sporting days have come to an end. And that's one of the things that I'm very grateful for, for the University of Kentucky, um, for giving me that opportunity in, in, in a scholarship to have an education mm -hmm. post-athletic career. Mm -hmm. um, and just always represent yourself you know, well on the field, be a good sports person, um, be grateful for all the people that have helped you to get to where you are, mm -hmm. and just represent yourself also off the field. You know, be proud of who you are, mm -hmm. what you did, and just, I think everything comes together for you in, in that sense as a human being. That's a terrific message. Well, Liz, I appreciate you coming, talking to us today and sharing some insight into the Liz Poliak inducting into the Brantford Area Sports Hall of Recognition. Um, thanks for coming. It's been terrific talking with you. Yep, thanks, Rick, and also great to connect with you again. Well, thanks for checking out our video. I welcome you to check out other videos on our inductees at our YouTube channel or our website, BrantfordAreaSportsHall.ca. Better yet, we'd love to see you come down to the Sports Hall located at the Wayne Gretzky Sports Center. We hope to see you soon.